Hi guys, welcome to part 9 of Angular 7 for Absolute Beginners by Tech Tech Tools in 2019. In today's video tutorial, we will learn about Angular CLI commands which you run from the command prompt and use them to di perform different functions in Angular 7. So we will learn about all those commands and their purpose in Angular 7. So without any if and buts, let's get into the tutorial. So in Angular 7, we have some CLI commands which we can run from the command prompts using ng as our first parameter or ng is the actual command which have different options to execute different uh, functions on the Angular 7 app or in the Angular 7. So if I go to the terminal and let me open the terminal for you. So here I will go on to the terminal and on the terminal if I simply type ng and hit enter it will show us some ng or angular commands which we can run from the command line interface. These are called ng command line interface options. So with the help of this ng and then adding these parameters to it you can perform different kinds of options or different kinds of conf configuration on ang in angular 7. So basically you have two types of commands inside angular 7 one type of commands are those commands which can be run from anywhere on the terminal i mean you shouldn't be inside your angular workspace so you can run them anywhere for example ng new this command create a new workspace or create a skeleton application so you can run it any from anywhere in the command line interface the next is ng uh, you can say ng version this command will show you current cli version you have installed in your system and you can run it anywhere from the command line interface so these two commands are those which are global commands ng new and ng version rest of the commands must be run from the workspace or from the skeleton application or from your within your projects so let me show you a, a small introduction to each of the commands so you can better understand them. So the first is ng add. So it adds the support for an external library to your project. So what is an external library? Any third party application or any third party package created using Node.js can be included within this add with within this Angular 7 app using ng add. So normally you do or you if you are used to an, a node package manager you will see that using npm install you install the libraries or inside your projects and then you include them where you need them but with the help of ng add there are certain libraries which automatically install inside your application and it they will be configured automatically so it means you don't need to configure them you need just need to use them so the next command is ng build this help you to create a final application after creating your project you can use ng build command to build the final application and then you can upload it to your server or anywhere you want it so in the next command is ng config with this help you can write any configuration setting inside your angular 7 angular sorry angular.json file or you can read configuration from within your angular.json file so this is a local command as well so ng doc will open the official angular documentation or i must say angular.io uh, website in the browser and search the query you give this with the help of ng doc space and then type any query you want to search from the angular.io so this is also a local command you must run it from your within your workspace so next is end to end your e to e so it build and serves an angular app so it is also a command to build and serve an angular app then runs end-to-end -end test using protractor so it's a type of test which runs and investigate problems inside your application and will show you the errors or warnings inside your application so the next is very very important command which is ngg or generate or in the short ngg so with the help of ng generate you can generate different types of module classes a directives enums library application inside your uh, angular 7 workspace so next is help so you if you are not sure what kind what this uh, command will do i mean 
generate or e to e doc or config then you can run the ng help on it so ng help generate it will show you the help about generate what it does and how it does next is lint ng lint so what basic what is linting basically linting means whenever you do any coding inside typescript of angular salmon you create just the line of code like you create a single code or you add double quotes so linting will help you or other developers as well to to make this application compatible so that every developer can understand the format of the, your application like wherever you are using single code it will always show you the single code so linting will find the errors like how many tabs you need after adding a new line or in your curly brackets it should be on the new line or on the same line etc etc with the passage of time you will definitely understand when whenever i will show you that this is done by the linting automatically showing you errors within your application not specific errors or syntax error i mean the formatting of your angular application it shows you error related to angular formats so the next is ng new especially you know about it it is a command to create a new workspace or initial angular app so we have created over ng7 app using ng new and the next one is run ng run this basically help you to run different configurations from within your angular json file i mean if you have different angular json uh, configurations you can run them using ng run command this is not commonly used uh, command but i will show you in the future video that how to use this when we will run different or multiple applications we will create multiple applications within one angular workspace then i will show you how to use this run command so next is serve so this is we have already used ng serve to create a default uh, local host with a default 4200 port and you can definitely change those port and numbers as well so the next is test this application this command will ng test will run unit test in a project so to run the test make sure you have a spec.ts file and as you update the normal.ts file of our of our uh, class you should update the spec.ts of the same file as well we have haven't done any testing or learn any testing so just wait for upcoming videos where we will talk about more about tests so what is ng update it will update your applications and its dependencies for example you are working with angular 7.3 so there is a new version you can simply run from within your workspace ng update and it will update the, all the dependencies needed to configure ng if there is a new angular 7.3 version so next is ng version so it will show you the current version and packages installed with your command line interface then we have xi 18n this one is for uh, creating multi language multilingual files inside your angular 7 app if you are building an application which need multiple languages then you can create and compile your code using ngxil 18 n command so these are the basic command so let me show you further that ng generate is the most important inside your engine after engine new there is ng generate so I, I, th I thought i misspelled no so this ng generate command requires to be run in an angular project so we need to go to over ng 7 app project as i told you before that some commands are run from within your ng7 application so i will run ng generate here now what it will show me it will show me further some options so here i have some parameters like minus minus default try run force help and interactive options and with the, these ng generate i can generate an app shell i can generate an application i can generate a class component directive enum guard interface library module pipe service service worker universal so these are the different commands which i can use with ng generate and it will generate a specific schematic design i mean it will create the file and update the necessary file for example if i generate a new component it will automatically be added inside our application where it needs to use after that you simply need to use them within your application as you normally do so these are the commands we can generate using ng generate so it's generate a collection using at the rate schematics at angular so default so it uses this package to generate these 
different kind of uh, collections inside your angular 7 app so this is the quick introduction of angular 7 cli commands hopefully you learned something new inside this video tutorial and if you did please don't forget to press the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel tech tech tours please consider and subscribe to it for more upcoming videos and if you subscribe then don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notified as soon as i upload a new video so guys thank you very much take care and goodbye